Hey, what's going on, everybody? Thank you all for joining me at this time. My name is Shavi Zane, and I'm just coming on to bring a message for the Chosen. This is a quick read, just to tap into the energy, see if there's anything that y'all need to know at this time. I hope y'all are having a great day, getting out here, enjoying some of this beautiful weather, wherever you are across the globe. Of course, if y'all want a personal reading, feel free to email me. My email is in the description box. Um, you're going to be using the S N I T A five two four one five at gmail.com. That's the email that I'm using right now. So if you want to order my decks, tarot lessons, a tarot session, you'll be using that email. So let's tap in. See what do y'all need to know at this time here? So we have, look at that, the Ace of Pentacles. Some sort of new opportunity is coming in for y'all. So look for this. This is a really big opportunity when you get the Ace of Pentacles coming through because this is something that has potential to really grow. And it feels like this is a gift that's being handed to you. Um, maybe you've been praying for something to come through, and it is, okay? Let me clarify what is the Ace of Pentacles. I just saw the Knight of Swords, but let's just see. Things might be picking up for you when it comes to your business ventures or if you've been hoping to gain some sort of employment or a new opportunity. It looks like it's moving in pretty fast. What's the Ace of Pentacles? It's hot out here today, y'all. I am sweating. It is hot. But either way, I love the sunlight. So after I do this reading, I'm going to get out of the car and go plant my feet in the grass, do some sun gazing, and just chill out. So the Ace of Pentacles is the Empress. Now that's impressive, okay? Some of y'all, hmm, it's like, it's something that you're giving birth to. Something that you have been working towards, you have been nurturing, whatever this thing is, and you're getting ready to see the fruit of your labor here. So it could have seemed like it's been a long time for whatever this is to come through. Because as you all know, if you've ever been pregnant before, that process can be, it can seem like it's taken forever. But with this Ace of Pentacles, you know, she's ready to pop. So it's definitely something that you are getting ready to give birth to, male or female. You've been working on it. You've been nurturing it. You've been putting your energy and your love towards it. And so it seems like there is this opportunity that's going to bring a lot of comfort and stability. And it's going to awaken your creativity. And there's going to be a lot of growth and fertility with this opportunity. I'm going to take one more for this Ace of Pentacles because this looks really good. Especially if you are divine feminine out there, it's strongly indicating that because you've done the work on yourself, you're met, you've manifested this new opportunity here. Let's see. Okay, so I have two cards. Well, I have three actually. So I have the Seven of Cups. This feels like multiple options, you know, trying to figure out which direction to go in, but it feels like now there's an opportunity that's going to be very stable and solid here. That's going to provide a lot of security that's worthy of celebration. See, it's showing me that you've overcome a lot of hardship and trials here. And so with the Eight of Pentacles, that's definitely showing you putting in the effort, the dedicated effort. You, you did this. Whoever you are, you put in this work, and so now you are reaping the rewards because the Eight of Pentacles plus the Ace of Pentacles is the Nine of Pentacles energy, which is pre-Empress energy, but you already got the Empress here. So it's almost like you're skipping over pre-Empress energy and jumping right into Empress energy, which indicates that there's a lot of abundance that's coming your way that's going to provide you with a lot of security. If some of you was hoping for a new home, Four of Wands indicates new homes, new security, celebration of whatever that new space is. So let's see. What is it that you need to know about this opportunity? What is it that you need to know about this opportunity that's coming through? Okay, I don't want more than one card. What do you need to know about this opportunity that's coming through? Ooh, I need a little breeze. That's what I need right about now. Look at that. I told y'all the nine of pentacles and the judgment card. This is the, a judgment. It's in your favor. The Most High did this for you because you put in the work. The Nine of Pentacles is exactly what I just called. The Ace of Pentacles plus the Eight of Pentacles puts you in that Nine of Pentacles energy. You are reaping the fruits of your labor. You are able to purchase the things that you want in life. You have a, a certain amount of security and comfort to where your basket is always full. 
okay? And this is because you purified your energy. You made a judgment call in certain areas of your life to release unhealthy, you know, the unhealthy aspects of yourself as well as unhealthy relationships and maybe jobs or career paths or just thoughts in general, fears. And now this judgment call has been made in your favor to say that you deserve this nine of pentacles. Whatever this is that's coming towards you, you have earned this. This is big. Um, this, this ain't no small opportunity here. This is a big opportunity that's coming towards you here. Let's see. So if you've been dip, oh my gosh, <laughs> you got the 10 of pentacles and the six of pentacles. What is going on? Okay. Y'all, whatever you have been working on is getting ready to give you a buku amount of abundance. This is like generational wealth right here. This is generational wealth. The six of pentacles is generosity. You earn this. Whatever you put out into the universe, you are receiving it back. It's like, this is your inheritance that's coming to you. The ten of pentacles is long-term security and stability right here. You got so many pentacles coming out. Eight of pentacles, ten of pentacles, nine of pentacles. You have the ace of pentacles, okay? Not to mention the empress who is already naturally abundant spiritually, physically, emotionally, creative in terms of her creativity. And then you have the four of wands. I mean, this is major. This is major. I just need to sit with this for a minute before I pull any more cards because if you've been hoping for a breakthrough when it comes to your finances, if you're not already sitting in this energy of being abundant and having an overflow, trust and believe if this message resonates with you, this is your message. If you know, I'm not talking to those people in the back that ain't been putting in no work that's just out there, ratchet is all get out mistreating people no this is not for you this is for those of you who you know you've been putting in that work you know you've been planting those good seeds you know that you have been persevering and working feverishly day and night on something that you really enjoy doing you've been pouring your heart and your love into it this is your gift here you've earned this i'm trying to see is there any synchronistic numbers to where yeah the number one so if you've been seeing 11, 11, 1, 11, that's standing out very strongly here. This could definitely be a message that's specifically catered to you. Um, let me see. This is, this is amazing. Um, this is really beautiful energy. You've earned this. You've done something really great out there. And so the Most High is blessing you with an overflow. An overflow. You have more than enough. Uh, and it's going to put you in a position where you can purchase the, the dream home that you want. You can, you know, you have enough to give to others if you choose to, to share with others. You have enough to invest in those creative ideas or new ideas that might be coming to mind to add to what you're already doing. Like this is major, major abundance that's coming through. And what I just heard is... Uh, of course, as above, so below. You stood, you you didn't give up. You persevered in spite of all of the obstacles that was in front of you. You did not give up. That Ace of Wands is in her hand to indicate that you maintained that spark, that enthusiasm, that passion that was necessary for you to continue to pursue your creative ideas. And because you did not give up and you did not allow those daggers that was being thrown your way to stop you, Okay, you still continue to stand your ground. That's why you're getting this. As above, so below. In the spiritual realm, you are highly, highly abundant already. And that's why we're seeing so many pentacles because now it's manifesting in your material reality, in your physical reality. That abundance that you already have in the spiritual realm because of the work that you have put in is now manifesting in your physical reality. So you are literally getting ready to experience this right here because you did not give up i feel like you had a lot of opposition okay the will of fortune i just saw the will of fortune i saw the king of pentacles you this is destined this is your destiny and i understand why many of you had a lot of haters out there it's very clear why you had so many people damn look at that the devil is at the bottom of the deck it's very clear why you had so many people in this toxic energy that was trying to manipulate your mind, trying to cause a tower for you, trying to bring you down, wanting to keep you stressed out, overthinking, in your head, feeling stuck, you know, even doing spell work, trying to manipulate you. 
But this tower actually brought in, this tower brought in your inheritance. It literally brought your inheritance to you while they thought that they was doing some stuff. Because see, the moon is right here behind the tower. People was definitely doing spell work against y'all for sure. A lot of people knew what you had coming, okay? The devil, the tower, and the moon. They was behind the scenes probably doing moon magic, all types of stuff. Hoping to bring the tower down on whatever your creative ideas are, whatever those desires are that you have. They was hoping to really ruin it for you. But they've been unsuccessful. Now the tower is coming down on their heads because this tower is next to the devil. They don't even see it coming though with the moon here. They don't see this tower coming. They couldn't predict this because they've been so busy paying attention to you and being all up in your business that they don't even realize that the tower is coming down on their own heads because they haven't been keeping watch. They haven't been watching their own back because they too busy watching you chosen, trying to keep up with you in hopes that they can stop you from receiving this overflow of abundance that's coming in. But this thing is huge. It's almost like it's backfired on them to the degree where, man, it's like you're receiving a thousand fold more than what you would have naturally received all just off the strength of the most high is flexing on them. Just off the strength that the most high said, I'm going to flex on your enemies. They was trying to stop you from receiving what is small in comparison to what's actually coming in. They threw stumbling blocks on the small things and they was jealous and hating on that. But the most high is giving you an inheritance. The 10 of pentacles is generational wealth. Wealth that keeps on giving. Wealth that you pass down to your offspring if you have them. Okay? This is a lifelong, lifelong stability. <coughs> You're being blessed. Bless you. You are being blessed out there because you deserve this. And oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's just see how your enemies are going to feel about this because they watching already. So the most high is going to make sure that they get a chance to see just how, just how abundant you are and just how weak they are. Okay. Because they really thought that they had you wrapped around their fingers. They thought, look at them. Let me see how are your enemies feeling. How are they going to feel when they see this abundance come through for you like this? Because this is something that can't be missed. Okay? Especially for those people who are watching you heavily. they watching you real hard. Some of them was definitely watching you through divination and tarot. Keeping up with what was getting ready to happen. That was too many cards, y'all. How is your enemy getting ready to feel about this abundance that you got coming in? I keep getting two cards, so I guess I got to take them. So, <laughs> Page of Pentacles and the Lovers is in the reverse. Page of Pentacles with the lovers in the reverse. You're receiving an opportunity that they're getting ready to miss out on. Wow. Eight of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. They're, they're stuck. They're stuck in their head because they thought that they was getting ready to stop you from whatever this destined uh, connection is. Some of you have an actual connection that's coming towards you here with the Four of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, yeah, the Four of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, and the Empress. Some of you have a connection that you're getting ready to be in. Your enemies are trapped in their head about this. They can't stop thinking about it, okay? They feel stuck. They're burdened because you're getting ready to take off here. You're getting ready to take off nothing they can do about it page of cups see that offer is still coming through page of cups page of pentacles is still coming through because you raised your vibrations here they tried to stop you they really thought that they was going to try to dim your light knock the fire straight out of you so that you would no longer be passionate about your creative ideas they thought that you was going to lose that spark and that you was going to self-sabotage your own creative ideas or whatever it is that you've been wanting to pursue they thought you was going to self-sabotage that thing by doing their spell work against you but you taking off you're going to do it anyway see they couldn't stop you because you holding on for dear life to what's yours this is yours this is your inheritance they couldn't take it so there are people out here who are emotionally um unbalanced Okay, they're emotionally unstable. Some of them are over drinking, over indulging because they're trying to numb themselves out. They don't want to have to feel. Somebody tried to hold on to someone too. There's someone that tried to hold on to a person here. And this person is no longer emotionally um, available to them. But they tried to hold on because they really wanted this person for their money. 
they really wanted this person for their money and they tried to hold on to this person because they knew that if they came towards you there will be a whole lot of abundance that the two of you will be able to create with one another so they didn't want you to benefit off of that so they tried to hold this person back by manipulating their mind and doing spell work to stop them so whoever this is leave the door open baby they tried to hold on with dear life because there are some beautiful things. This is getting ready to be huge. If this is a divine partnership that's coming together, this is getting ready to be massive. But even if it's not a partnership in the romantic sense, whatever it is that you've been working on is getting ready to excel. It's not far greater than what you could ever imagine. So congratulations to those of you out there who are getting ready to, um, to receive your inheritance. See, I got the King of Wands. This is taking action. You are taking create. You are taking action towards something here. You are the leader, okay? You are the uh, innovative, okay? You have creative ideas that you are not sitting on. But this is also being courageous enough to pursue those things. Somebody is also being courageous enough to pursue you and to come towards you, okay? Somebody is very passionate. Look at that. The Two of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. This is I, temperance. Why? Because there's a lot of healing that's taking place here. Somebody allowed themselves to be free. Somebody gave themselves permission to no longer be tied down or bogged down by co uh, conflict, drama, unhealthy connections, unhealthy people. This person said, no, I'm going to move on my creative ideas. I'm going to take advantage of this new opportunity. I'm not going to allow the past to hold me back anymore. Naysayers to tell me that I can't pursue this or I can't pursue that just because they're afraid to go after their own visions and their own uh, creative ideas. She's over there, baby. Go and catch up with her. Um, take the water, too. This is definitely... Run over there and call her. Sorry, y'all. This is definitely... Um, yeah, look at that. Somebody's being left out in the cold and they're getting ready to go through poverty too. Whoever this person is, they're getting ready to go through poverty and they're getting ready to be left out in the cold because they messed up. This person messed up by trying to clip you up. And now the Most High is getting ready to show them. Not only is the Most High Mother and Father getting ready to bless you with an overflow, but the Most High is getting ready to show them that the result of messing with you is poverty for them. They're getting ready to be left out in the cold. Uh, and they're going to spend a lot of time, a long time in that energy because look at that, the hangman. They're going to spend a long time in that energy until they change their perspective, until they start to see themselves from a different perspective, until they start to pay attention to that jealous, that envy, that hate, that desire to see people fail. All of that, they have to clear that. So they're going to be stuck in this position for trying to sacrifice you. But trying to sacrifice you and trying to take your inheritance from you. You know, a lot of times people are like, well, do I have an inheritance? Yes, your inheritance is what is your natural gifts. That's your inheritance, your natural gifts, because your natural gifts that's in alignment with your purpose will naturally bring you wealth and abundance. And so when people try to steal your inheritance, it's not them going to the bank and literally trying to take what's yours. Most of the time it's not. Most of the time, it's not a situation where somebody passed away and they left you money and now somebody is holding on to it. No, most of the time when people are trying to take your inheritance, your inheritance goes beyond money. What is your birthright and your inheritance is peace of mind, good health, a healthy love life, your creative ideas, being in your purpose and your financial wealth and abundance. All of those things is a part of your inheritance. And so when you hear me say or others say I don't know if others are aware of how deep it runs but when you hear me say it specifically it is dealing with your inheritance on a more spiritual level that goes beyond your wealth and abundance so somebody wanted to steal that they wanted to block it they wanted to block your gifts they wanted to block your peace of mind they wanted to block your happiness they wanted to block your divine unions because they knew whoever this is they knew what this was going to bring somehow they they had a heads up either they had a dream about it they got a reading about it or they could just see the potential in you okay or if this is part this if this is someone who is like let's just say they was trying to block someone from coming towards you they understand that the person that is coming towards you is very wealthy and very generous with the people that they love 
And so they tried to block that person from coming towards you because they wanted to be able to benefit because their biggest fear was being left out in the cold and having nothing. Okay, look at that. Seven of Swords, I told you. Deception. Deception. They tried to come in. The Seven of Swords is all about stealing and destroying. Steal, kill, and destroy. You see, they got a knife in their hand. They want to kill your dreams. They want to kill your happiness. They want to kill your creativity. They want to steal your love life. They want to steal your birthright. They want to steal your joy. And they do it in the dark. They do it cloaked, under disguise, wearing a mask. And so they think they're getting away with something, but they never get away with these types of things because the Most High ensures that they don't. Look at that. Hmm. Page of Wands. I'm cutting the deck at the Temperance, okay? The Temperance card with the Hierophant. See, y'all, you maintain your balance. Y'all healed. You leveled up spiritually. Like, you've been elevating. You've been keeping your energy, your vibrations high. I see the High Priestess peeking out there. This is a, you are a highly spiritual person. All of that spiritual work that you've been putting in, the declarations that you've been doing, the lighting of the candles, the prayers that you've been putting out there, staying grounded, you know, healing yourself, staying balanced, like in spite of all of the obstacles going within, listening to your intuition, you are tapped in. Like this is some high, this is earth angel energy right here. The temperance, the hierophant and the high priestess, y'all are definitely natural teachers out there. You're, you're meant, the reason why this is happening for you is because you are meant to show humanity that the chosen seed are the, the children of the most high and children of the most high are never in lack we go through seasons of being in lack because that's to grow us and to develop us and to transform us so that we can come into remembrance of the power that has been gifted to us and once we awaken to that and we start doing the spiritual work and we ain't playing no games we out here on straight spiritual warrior mode in these spiritual streets we start knocking demons down we start knocking out witches and warlocks that's been coming up against us we start knocking them karmics out we start tearing up the structure of the powers that were and the most high says well done i have to reward you openly because you unselfishly went to war against those who had come up against you your lineage your offspring you went to war and you did that so let me show you in the 3d in, a, in your physical um, uh, existence how abundant you truly are there will be no more lack there will be no more asking you know paying robbing Peter to pay Paul there will be no more of that energy you are now in a position where you have an overflow of abundance to where you can give and never be in lack ace of swords that's the dang on truth if I ever heard it <laughs> that is the truth y'all you're going to be celebrated. The Most High is recognizing you and rewarding you because you have earned this. So give yourself a pat on the back. You may, I don't know, you, you might not see it yet, but you got to feel this. There's no way that you can't feel this energy coming through. This is a beautiful, beautiful reading. Beautiful reading. And it's leaving people weak to their knees. Folks going to be crying when they see just how great things turned out for you. And they're going to wish that they did not work up against you or leave you out in the cold when things were not going well and when you was going through your transformation phase and you just needed a helping hand they're gonna wish that they would have stuck by you okay look i told you they're gonna be crying okay not being able to sleep at night because they was disingenuous when you made your offer of love they rejected you they treated you like you wasn't nothing and so now they're gonna be up crying losing sleep trying to heal okay trying to find a way to heal some of them are actually going to be physically ill as a result of what's coming in for you but it's also look at that i told y'all folks is going through it going through it that's all they can do is wallow in their own misery because they realize that they missed out on a great opportunity just having you in their life but that's on them because they they did too much they overdid it you know they overplayed their position as a karmic I mean, so they're stuck now. It is what it is. But just know that you have beautiful things coming through. Anticipate that. Enjoy it. Know that you deserve it. Know that you are worthy of it. That's my message for you all. I love you. If you want a private reading to maybe, you know, um, if you feel like this message is for you and you want to gather more information about it, feel free to email me and um, I'll talk to you all next time.